We are taking a look at women in the C-suite with Andy Challenger right now for Working It. Thanks for coming on the show as always, Andy. Thanks for having me. So how are the numbers looking for this past year? Yeah, we saw basically a stagnating number in the number of women that replaced uh, new CEOs this last year in 2017, about 18.4%, which is just in line with what we saw in, in 2016. That's not very many women at all. It's not very many at all. It's a surprising number. We continue to see, even though we've had the, the Me Too movement, we've seen a lot of improvements for women in the workplace, uh, but this problem with consistent uh, leadership at the top of women is very, uh, it continues to be a problem. There were actually 11 men who were removed as CEO because of inappropriate behavior. Yeah, so we saw a, a, a number of these cases come out, probably because the Beaten 2 movement has caused this, uh, but only four of those replacement CEOs were women of the 11. Are there any tips or suggestions on how more females, how more women can maybe take a seat as CEO? Yeah, part, it really starts with manager, uh, uh, you know, at the manager level. So having more women in managerial roles, there's a couple industries like healthcare uh, uh, that have over 70% women managers, and we tend to see a lot more women CEOs come out of those industries. A positive thing is we've seen since uh, 20, 2007, over the last 10 years, uh, the number of women entrepreneurs that run their own companies is actually up 49%. So that's a, that's a positive. I think so. Yeah. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me.